In this episode, we'll be talking to you about Laravel middleware, and middleware allows us to run code before our application receives requests. So let's say before the user hits the slash home route, we want to make sure that they are logged in. If not, we want to redirect them to the login page. So that might be one example of how we can use middleware to protect a route from being hit if the user is not logged in. So let's go ahead and jump right into the code from the last video. And in the last video, we showed you how to set up an authentication system. And if we look inside of our routes web.php, we have a route here called slash home. But if we try and navigate to that from our localhost 8000 slash home, then we actually get redirected to the login screen. And then sure enough, if we log in as John Doe, then we are allowed access to our home route. So since we are logged in, we can access this route. But then again, if we were to log out and try to access the home route again, it's going to redirect us to the login page. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. So let's say that we're trying to get to the home route and it's mapping to the home controller and the index method. So let's go to the app, HTTP, home controller, and we can see that here in the constructor, we're running this middleware that's called middleware auth. And let's go ahead and figure out what this middleware auth is doing. So we need to go into the kernel.php, and if we scroll down, we can see all of the middleware that is registered with our application. So we can see here that we have route middleware, and this is the auth middleware that is being called. That is being called from illuminate auth middleware authenticate. So let's go ahead and just dive into the code real quick. So we say we want to go to vendor Laravel framework source, and we know that it's in the illuminate auth middleware authenticate namespace. So we look inside the illuminate auth, and we have middleware here and then authenticate. And as you can see here, we're running this code that is going to check to see if the user is currently logged in. And if they are not logged in, then it is going to redirect them to a certain path. So this is just a built-in middleware that is provided by Laravel, but let's go ahead and show you how you might create your own. So let's go ahead and open up our project and let's just go ahead and use the artisan command. And I'm gonna say artisan make middleware and I'm just gonna call this middleware admin middleware. And let's go ahead and start up the server again. And now if I go into my app HTTP middleware folder, I will see a new file called admin middleware. And you can see that we also have a couple other middlewares inside of this folder. And one is redirect if authenticated, and that will just redirect us to the home route if we've already been logged in. And I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste this code into the admin middleware because we're gonna use some of the same classes. So I'll need to change this name to admin middleware. And then let's go ahead and create a new route. So let's say that we want to create this route that's only accessible to admins. So we'll say route admin function, and then I'm just gonna print out a simple message that just says you have access. So if I save this and I go back to the application and I type in localhost 8000 slash admin, then sure enough, we have access to it. and if I try to log in, we'll have access to this route as well. And I go back to slash admin. So no matter what, whether we're logged in, whether we're not logged in, we still have access to this route. And this is the middleware that we want to create to protect this route from being accessed by anybody who is not logged in or anybody who is logged in and is not an admin. So let's go ahead and open up our SQL Pro and we're gonna just add a simple row in here and just call this admin. And this is gonna be a tiny int, and by default, it is gonna be set to zero. And if this is one, then we'll just assume that they're an admin. So it's a simple check to just say it's a one if they're an admin or a zero if they're not. So then let's go ahead and go back to our code. And what we need to do is inside of our admin middleware, we need to say if the user is logged in and the user admin equals one then we want to allow them access to that route. So we want to return the next request and we'll say, otherwise we want to just return a redirect to the home route. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we need to go ahead and register our middleware inside of our kernel. So we need to say inside of our route middleware, let's just go ahead and call this admin. 
And this is going to map to, if we look inside the namespace, we have app HTTP middleware. So we will use that namespace and it'll be slash admin middleware. So let's go ahead and add that to the kernel. We'll say slash admin middleware class. So let's go ahead and save that. And now we have this admin middleware shorthand that we can use inside of our route file. So let's say that we want this to have a middleware of admin. So let's save that and let's go ahead and try and access this route right now. So as you can see, it says class app HTTP middleware admin middleware does not exist. And if I go back into here, looks like I may need to do a forward slash. So let's save that, let's reload. And sure enough, you can see then we're redirected back to the home page. So if we go to our login, you can see that we're currently logged in, but we still cannot access this route. And that is because we have checked to see if John Doe is an admin. And if we look inside the database, admin is set to zero. But let's go ahead and change that to one. And let's go ahead and try and access this route again. So slash admin. And sure enough, we have access because our middleware has protected this route from only being accessible from somebody who's logged in and is an admin. So there are multiple ways that we can do our middleware. We can do this directly inside of our routes web.php and just add this middleware to a class like this. We could also do a group. So we could say route group, and then you may want to group a set of middleware. We'll say middleware, and the middleware is going to be admin. And then we can wrap all the routes that we want to be protected by this admin middleware inside of this group. So if I go ahead and save this and we reload the page, then we still have access to this route because we are an admin. But then if we go back here and change admin back to zero, and we try and access the route, it's going to redirect us back to the home page. So we can do middleware inside of our routes. We can wrap them in a group, or we could also add them to the constructor of a controller. So any methods that are called inside of that controller will be protected by that middleware. So this was just a quick example about how to use middleware kind of what middleware is, and how it might be helpful in building out your Laravel app. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this Laravel Basics video. Uh, Laravel is a really cool framework that allows us to build these really cool applications. And one of those applications that I have built is the Dev Dojo. So if you check out devdojo.com, it's a learning resource for all things web development, including Laravel. I've just added a new section which includes eBooks that you can download. And uh, it's just a whole bunch of resources for you to get better at web development. So thanks again for checking out this video, and I hope you go over to the devdojo.com and check it out.